Hey jeez, welcome back to my reactions to Monthly Girls no Zaki-kun, Gekan Shoujo no Zaki-kun. We're gonna be watching episode 2 today and last time, I just wanna say this right now, that um, I was actually planning on doing double features for the show and also Liquor's Recoil, but I honestly can't based on how my life outside of YouTube is going on, so I can't do that yet, sorry. Um, anyways, what happened last time? We got introduced to our two main characters. Chiyo is this adorable cinnamon roll that just has a huge crush on this other guy named Nozaki. And Nozaki is apparently a manga artist and she was like, I'm a fan of yours. And by that she means that she likes him, but she, he misunderstood it as, oh, she reads my manga and I'm gonna give her an autograph. And then they started going home together and helping each other out by each other. I mean, it's mostly Chiyo helping Nozaki write, uh, not write, but uh, uh, put the shading on in the manga. And then afterwards, uh, they also helped each other out finding inspiration for the manga and it just goes into shenanigans. We ended the last episode off by introducing another character. I forgot his name, sorry. But I'm gonna remember it at some point. But uh, apparently he's like a super good kid but looks really scary. So uh, Chiyo is concerned. Okay, I think that's it. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture and picture version which you can find in the description below and a time based version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own music to a time based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do and a 0 is the same for you. My video is playing on my screen. My uh, energy is kinda lackluster today. I don't have that much energy because I don't know, I feel weird. I feel really weird. I feel like I really just wanna sleep the entire day through. But I can't because I need to make videos. Sorry. Okay, time where we go here. Is it 80%? Yeah, I'm just checking volume. I like that one of the reasons why he's considered a bad boy is because he's wearing earphones. I mean, he's wearing earphones in school. Mikoto, okay. Yeah. You're an assistant now, Sakura. Oh, it's official. Okay. Hi. Oh, he's a heartthrob. Uh, everyone likes her. Gaudy, that's one way to explain him, to describe him. Everyone, uh, eat me up. See him bears. Wow. <laughs> okay, opening. If you want to see baby scars, we'll be back over on YouTube. Check those out. Leave a like and video, subscribe to the channel, especially the YouTube channel. They get uh Patreon. So get this video so we can go in advance. If you want, become a Patreon. Help me out a bit. Chitta, dumb, nidda. Hey, that girl plays basketball? That sounds awesome. I'm gonna check something. Working. Working. Boom. <laughs> what is up with that explosion? That's so cool. Momo, peach, donuts. Hopefully we get introduced to the characters, all of the extra characters early on. 
What's up? What's up, Mikorin? What is it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wow, she's just better than you. What does he do? What does he do? What is going on? Is he sulking? What is going on? No, he's just bored, I think. What? <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah, yeah, I mean big say. Oh, he's annoying. <laughs> ah, Sugoi. Hmm. Why didn't the Zaki just go, hmm? This is good. One thousand yen. What kind of coffee? Ah, he can't handle coffee, can he? This guy is annoying and likable at the same time. Why is he following her? True enough. Memory sketch. Hey, like all those YouTube videos that do that. <laughs> My focus is weird. What? That seems easy enough. Okay, Nazari. Oh my god! Why is Sakura really good? Really realistic. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I want to see specialty. I want to know. Okay, person. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's useful. I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh. ah! Why? Why? Oh, okay. What does that mean exactly? And he's embarrassed again. 
Uh, and she's embarrassed for him. Second hand embarrassment. <laughs> Ineffective. Uh, cringe. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> exactly like him. Yep. Yeah, it is. It is him. Uh, I catch. Who's that? Oh, excuse me. I'm so sleepy today. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no, you look exactly like. You look exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah? Gives me. Oh, is that girl the eye catch? She looks cool. Is that it? I don't think that's it. Are those teachers? Are those teachers? What is going on? Oh, got it. Oh, jump through it. Nice. Nice. Uh, that was a leap. Why is it, why is she being followed by teachers? And why don't they just wait for her in class? <laughs> oh, you know him. I like her. <laughs> uh, he's already kind of mad. What are you gonna say? He's not doing it on purpose.
Roman for some reason. Um, <laughs> I don't really like her. Uh, that's foul. Yeah. She looks cute. Uh, this is not a team player in the size. Her voice is weird. The one black haired girl. Why is my camera dark? I have two lights and well, three lights actually in front of me, so. I don't know what's going on. Is it just my clothes? Excuse me. Sorry. She's just blunt as all hell. <laughs> I don't think that's what she thinks. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I love her. She's annoying as all hell though. But <laughs> how did you do that to your skirt? Sail. Man, she's annoying. I love her. Kind of like uh, Mikorin. They're both annoying but fun. <laughs> yeah, actually waited. Of course she didn't. Of course. Hey, she got to help. Yeah, we understand already. Yes, that's a good that's a good way to describe that. Oh, it, is, does that make sense? No, we need to keep that in. <laughs> right, I hit something with my toe. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe. No, I think it is. What? What is it? Wait. 
Wait, she can sing? Is that her? Is that her? It's gonna be her, right? Okay. That is not the voice I expected from her. First note. We're almost done with the episode, I think. And anyway, I had my first note. Lorelai! <laughs> yeah, uh, that is kind of crazy. Uh, your friend also. Oh, 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 they got there together. Ah, uh, that is, uh, what? yeah. Oh, I thought that's actually what happened. Wow. Okay, we're done. If you're going to baby discussions in the back over on YouTube, it's going to be short. But I still need to do that because, you know, be shoot, making the file smaller and all that. Excuse me. My lights are weird. Why is it not bright? There we go. And it's not bright again. It's kind of bright, but let me just... Make this brighter. Does that help? I think that's okay. Hantai no, hantai no, hantai no, hantai no, hantai no. There's still some time left, I think. Yeah, there's still some time left. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I mean, she's amazing in her own, own right. That's it, that's it, that's definitely here. No, you're not, that's not what you are. <sighs> oh, you know, oh, you're not oblivious, thank you.
Yep. Oh, let's talk about this episode. Oh, yeah, let's not go to the preview. I don't want to do the preview. Next issue. That's cool. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Um, I want to talk about this first, which is the idea of introducing more characters in the beginning because I like that. I talked about this last episode, I think, but I'm not entirely sure. But uh, they, uh, an issue that I have with um, one Kuru shows usually, especially if they have like a, a broad cast, uh, not a broad, like a wide cast, like a lot of characters, is that a lot of the times there's characters that are introduced way later in the show where um, I just couldn't care that much about them. And this, we're actually introducing them very early on and then we can play around with their characters once we've introduced them. So that's really neat. I like that a lot. So that's a good thing they're doing. I hope we do this with all the other characters. I think there's like six. So maybe four more characters that we need to do this to. Uh, we spent two episodes and we got introduced to Nozaki, Chiyo, Mikorin, and Seo. So that's cool. Um, Seo being someone that acts like a bad boy with piercings and head earphones on during school. His uh, his uh, his uh, polo shirt or whatever you want to call it is like uh, open with a shirt inside of it. I used to do that too. I still do that. Like that's literally what I'm doing right now. But um, and then she, he's really popular with the girls because he's he's really good looking. But then whenever he says like a pickup line or something, he he's very in, embarrassed by saying it. So <laughs> that's a great character to have. Like very. Uh, contradictory characteristics that, she, that he has and it's really neat <laughs> also I like the idea of introducing two of our main characters best friends basically so that's really cool um, and how different they are to each other okay um, so they're gonna do the beta but freaking Mikorin was like I don't ask me anything I don't have time for you and then the moment the, he said that, he starts looking at her like, Please ask me something. I need, I need, I need validation. <laughs> I need validation that I'm actually better than you. <laughs> or the, not better than me, but I'm actually useful <laughs> to uh, Nozaki. So, <laughs> that's great. Um, <clears throat> him just doing nothing. Uh, freaking Nozaki actually saying it like, Sakura. He really wants you to ask him something, so please do. I like that Nozaki is mm, very, dare I say, emotionally mature. <laughs> like, I think he is. I think Nozaki, even though he completely misunderstood Sakura's uh, confession, is, uh, Sakura is still kind of to blame for that because, you know, she actually mentioned fan first before the idea of liking him. So Sakura is still kind of to blame for that. So I think Nozaki is actually very emotionally intelligent. <laughs> and I think that's the reason why he's able to A, be friends with Mikorin, but B, also kind of keep up with Seo. She was actually able to keep up with Seo uh, when, when they were uh, going to bring the, the handouts or the books or whatever they were. And uh, Seo was like, I need you to do this for me. And it's like, he can't understand what she's trying to say and it's great. Uh, but it is kind of difficult to handle Seo because, you know, first of all, they're not that close and they don't really understand each other very well. But there's also the fact that Seo is kind of a special case. <laughs> she's very special. <laughs> um, yeah. Freaking love uh, Chio's faces here. Where she's just like, Wow, this guy. <laughs> Is he serious? He's serious. There are other drinks. We should go buy some. I want, I'm kind of curious about this. I'm kind of curious about this. Is, did she take black coffee? I think that's black coffee. Yeah, that's black coffee. Uh, okay, so he's, he's not acting like, Oh, I'm, I'm a cool senpai. I can drink the bitter coffee. <laughs> okay, but also him just following her around because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly why she, he followed her around. To be honest with you, he looks like a star. <laughs> um, I do also like the fact that uh, another contradic contradictory characteristic that he has is he looks 
such like such a generic playboy. <laughs> it looks like what an anime version of a playboy always will be. And yeah, he looks so much like that and he's like this and it's great. It's brilliant. I think Sojo uh, anime or manga really do that trope really well. And I don't even know if I consider that a trope or a deconstruction of that trope. Which is the idea of making someone look and act like a really badass uh, heartbreaker playboy kind of type and then make them act really stupid and aloof <laughs> so yeah uh, I think Soju manga does that really well and Soju anime specifically in manga so yeah I believe it is a Soju manga or anime or whatever it is based on uh, uh, let me just do this because Okay, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I think I get it. This is showcasing uh, what they do best in terms of art. So, Nozaki does the really plain, not plain, but like uh, the base. The base for, for the object that he's trying to make. Sakura is really good with the shading and making making it look more real and freaking uh, Mikorin is good at making things more vibrant, more uh, giving the effects and all that. Also, I freaking love Sakura's drawings. They're, I think they're amazing. And then also freaking uh, Mikoshiba is just... It's just the same level of drawing that I can do. So I actually really like Mikoshiba's a lot more. What is the prompt for this one? Person. I, I thought it was just, I thought it was something else. Okay. I like the very soju manga drawing here. The person. Like, you can tell immediately that, that this guy draws soju manga. You know, the straight from the uniform to just the fact that this is the the immediate thought that they had for the kind of person that they're drawing. And then also the eyes are really interesting. They're actually pretty intricate. How are the eyes for our characters in the show? Okay, Sakura's is actually pretty intricate. Um, I like it. There's uh, like uh, two dots here, and then like the, the, the one in the middle, and then purple. I think I like colors, okay. And then the two boys, not so much, specifically Nozaki. I think Nozaki, Nozaki is kind of a tropey the kind of generic looking main character where it's like oh you can just kind of self insert because I Nozaki is um, I don't know I don't, because the thing is a lot of the time when you when you make a character that looks like Nozaki you're making it so that you can the audience can easily um, self insert themselves into the character and, be, and live out a fantasy but this doesn't seem to be that kind of show it seems to be more about just characters getting along, having fun and all that. And I don't think that's that. So I wonder why the choice for Nozaki to be kind of bland looking is interesting to me. I don't know why that choice was made. Um, freaking this guy, uh, Mikorin. I want to look at Mikorin's, uh, I want to look at Mikorin's eyes. Nothing too crazy, but it's still way better than Nozaki. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Um, okay, I'm done with the beta. And then Mikoshiba. <laughs> He's so nervous. Uh, it's like sweating. Aww, it's so cute with the flowers and everything. I, I like that they have a good team here. That uh, they can just do whatever this... Uh, uh, part of the manga creating process. They can do different parts of it. That's really neat. I keep saying the word neat again. I use that's my I think that's my last word of the day. So I don't want to use that again. But I keep using it. Like ah, uh, the hero so annoying. What did he say? He like he's a love hunter or something. Eternal love hunter, and he's like. No, don't do that. I know I'm not like this. I know. I'm sorry. Don't get embarrassed. Don't call me Mikorin. And I'm gonna call you Chiorin. And then... 
You want to call me Mikori, and I'm gonna call you Chiori, and then she's like, uh, cringe. <laughs> no. Uh, I kind of like the fact that Chio is someone that is not bouncing off very, very different uh, boys. Like, she's not a character that is like having like near romantic um, interactions with other ca other characters. She's just she just really likes Nozaki. But I'm kind of sad at the same time that we didn't get any of the bits where uh, Chiyo is obviously in love with Nozaki. Because that's part of what I really really loved in the last episode. It's just the whole thing of uh, this girl is kind of crazy for this guy. And we didn't get any of that. I'm kind of sad about that. But I'm also okay with it because we're not making it so that Oh, we introduce a new boy. She might get some interactions with him. They're gonna seem kind of romantic, but they still end up with the main guy at the end. So I th I'm kind of glad we didn't do that. I don't know. I get the feeling that this kind of a story would benefit from that. I don't know exactly. Okay. Okay. What, what else do I want to talk about? Um. I like this uh, very not spoilery but foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> it's very foreshadowing. I caught, I catch. I like it. Are you gonna introduce a character model because they look exactly alike? So we need the character, or yeah, and they look, they act alike as well. This girl is badass. <laughs> I freaking love her. Uh, she's annoying, but uh, apparently she doesn't mean to be annoying. So I guess that's okay. Okay, so the problem with her, there's a lot of problems with her. Um, <laughs> the biggest one is that she's always oblivious. She 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 just says what's on her mind, and uh, she doesn't necessarily notice anything around her that is going on. And she feels like she's. I get the feeling she feels like she's at the center of everything, because she doesn't notice anything else going on around her. <laughs> So, I think that's the issues that she has. But yes, she is very talented and she seems like she would benefit, uh, Nozaki would benefit from having her in the team. So, yeah. It seems like she's talented with everything though. So, maybe she can draw. Maybe she can help out a bit. I don't know. And, but then maybe, I get the feeling that if we ever get like a scene with her helping out. Like for example, I don't know if this is gonna happen, but for example, Let's say Chio got gets sick, and instead of going to the usual route of oh we need to draw, uh, not draw, we need to do a visit. What if she also helps out with the beta, and then the next thing that she does immediately is, oh by the way, I thought your characters were acting kind of weird, so I changed the text. <laughs> That's gonna be so bad. That's gonna be so bad. <laughs> It's great though. I think I freaking love her. I think I freaking love her. She's great. Also, the idea of her of uh, her saying that, are you a lolly gone? I don't think Chiyo is a lolly. She, she might be a semi lolly. I think apparently that's a thing that people say. Uh, she's kind of short, but she's not necessarily a lolly. So I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I get the feeling that because I kind of assumed that the only reason that Chiyo always looked really small is because Nozaki is really tall. I, I always kind of uh, thought of it that way. So I don't know if Chiyo is actually really short. How, how tall is she? I don't know. This, this line actually got me. This is really cool. The old man down the street has the same bag. <laughs> it's great. I kind of like the fact that even though it's like, she's like this, she's still kind of popular and people flock to her. Probably because she's like really talented again, but yeah. Basketball team watching for practice. And she just kind of, yeah, foul. That's a foul. This character right here on the left sounded really weird. What does romance stand for? Is that like the team name of the school? And she, she's not a team player at all. Uh, people ask me for advice all the time. And they're taking a photo and... I, I also like the fact that Nozaki is right behind the camera. Like... 
<laughs> and she's and the camera's right in the middle of them. So it feels intentional. That's the thing. It feels so intentional, even though it's not apparently. And then writing love, and then going. Is that a love letter? Yeah, there's a love letter. And she just went past in the middle of it. And Nozaki's like reacting to all this. Aren't I too perfect? <laughs> this is great. She's hilarious. She's so funny. I guess I've been Okay, let's play a game. We can walk on their hands. Okay, first of all, how is that anti gravity defying. Uh, that gravity defying skirt work? And then the teacher shows up and is like, I need to run away. Do this for me. Maybe it's a gag. I don't know. I, I might be reading too much into this scene. It's just a gag, I think. But still. And then she's a, an amazing singer, apparently. Apparently. Okay, and then... I like uh, that uh, freaking Nozaki also has like misconceptions about, you know, or just not mis misconceptions, but preconceived notions about how <laughs> females work, girls' friendships work. Um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's great. That is so good. Um, okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. And then we get a character that acts like her. Even the, it's, a, it's the guy, right? It's the guy that acts like her. Can I open the window? Okay, now I need to pee. Can you finish this conversation? <laughs> so good. Freaking love that. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so that is it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion, we will leave it more. Also, leave the description down below. Would really help out. You don't have to, but if you can, that would mean the world to me. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. All the fun stuff. And bye. -bye.